Shalom, shalom and welcome. The title of today's class, Doctrines of Devils. 1 Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that, or specifically, that in the latter times, the end of this, or the wrapping up of the kingdom, some shall depart from the faith. Do you know what? Depart from the faith. Their faith is going to be lacking. Weak faith. Giving heed to seducing spirit and doctrines of devils. You see that? So they're going to what? Giving or succumb to seducing spirit. Seducers. False prophets. False teachers. You see that? Teaching what? Sedu seductive doctrines. Doctrines of devils, he called it. Which mean what? It's cunningly and craftily devised fables. You see that? In pretext or pretending that they're teaching Christ or teaching the most high God scriptures and they're masking something deeper behind it. A satanic doctrine behind it. It's a doctrine of devils behind it. Go to Proverbs 24 and 16. We see Paul warning about what cunningly devised fables. It's a lot of lies and deceptions. But you're going to get caught if you're not the elect. Or if you're not the chosen of God, you will be caught. Proverbs 24 verse 16. It, for a just man falleth seven times and rises up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. So a lot of people teach this and use the scriptures to say, Okay, this is okay, you sin. You fall into sin and you, you, you rise up again. So they use it to repetitive, repetitively sin or willfully sin. They're battling with this one thing and they're, gonna, they're not going to step away from it. But the scripture says from henceforth, repent and confess the sin, repent and don't do it no more. It's not talking about you can make a mistake. You get caught once, yes, you get, you get caught once. The second time, you go the other way. You know, that's your, that's your, your, your kryptonite. That's your, I, I see it that way to the right, I go into the left. That's why you have to avoid it like a plague. So that's why you overcome that sin. You have a weakness looking at certain kind of women. You have a weakness looking at certain kind of men. Whatever it is, you have a weakness seeing gold in a showcase. You go bust the glass and take it. You know the Jewish saw there. Go down the next street. That's what you see. Don't pass. That's why you overcome it. But see, these ones, they use this and say, I just want for seven times, so you could do it over and over and over and over and forgive him all the time. Forgive him all the time. Forgive him. Yes, it's Christ says, forgive him, but that's seventy times seven. Yes, but it's not talking about not willfully sinning. So you're promoting that willful sin. You see that? Without even um, handing out or, or, or meshing out the, the, the equitable correction for it or discipline for it. So they're going to obviously stay in their sin. Go to um, Matthew 13, verse 47 to 50. Matthew chapter 13, verse 47 to 50. You have to forgive him. Yes, I just man going to fall, but then they build him up. Build him up, yes. But not be not continuing wickedness or evil, willful sinning. Matthew 13, and verse 47 to 50. Again, the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. So Christ or Yahushua is using a parable. He said, the kingdom of heaven, to get immortality of the kingdom, the, the chances to get in there is like this. You throw a net and you drag it in the sea. It was cast in the sea and gathered every kind. Everything get pulled up in it. Clams, fish, help, clean, clean meat, bad meat. You see that? Clean fish, bad fish. Everything got up. And when it was full, they drew it ashore. They pulled the net ashore. And they sat down and gathered the good into the vessels. They took the lawful meats, but cast the bad away. You see that? All the clams that come up, the shrimp that come up. The lobster that comes that the Mosai says unclean food for the children of Israel to eat. He's not talking about all people. For the children of Israel. So the, you see what? They cast the unclean food back according to Leviticus 11, the dietary laws. But you keep the clean. That's what he's using a parable. So shall it be at the end of the world. In this, what's about to, you see the earth is about to be wrapped, wrapped up and judged. This kingdom is wrapping up. That's what he's saying. And rapidly wrapping up. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. You see that? The angels of the Most High is coming with Yahushua and to sever or separate the wicked, the, the sinners, the, the lawbreakers from among the just, the law keepers. You see that? Romans 2, 12 and 13 tell it, not the hearers of the law, but the doers of the law just before God. <laughs> that them will be justified. So the ones who are doing the law, that's who the angels are coming for and they're going to sever the wicked. They're going to do what? He said what? Cast them back, cast them away. According to verse 48. You're going to gather the good and cast in, in verses and cast the bad away. The, 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 the law keepers, the just, you're going to take into the kingdom, into mortality, and cast away the, 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 the wicked or the sinners, the transgression of the law. And shall cast them into a, the furnace of fire, they shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. You see that? Destruction, death and destruction, eternal damnation. That's what the furnace of fire is talking about. Spiritual death, the spiritual dest dest destruction, or the spiritual demise. Go back to Proverbs 24 and 17. Proverbs chapter 24. And verse 17. Proverbs 24 and verse 17. Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, 
and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. So he say what? Adjustment verse 16 says, adjustment falls seven times and rise up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. He say what? The angels come into what? To destroy the wicked. But he's going to gather, the, because the just man, this just man is what? Let's, let me just see if I make sure I have that scripture in this class here. Let me just go to it quickly. Romans 2. Let's see what a just man, this just man is. Romans chapter 2 and verse... 12. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. So there's no excuse at ignorance. If you, you're, not break, you're not keeping them laws when he return, you are going to die. You see that? You're going to get cast away the same way. So which means you're supposed to know. Everybody's supposed to know. It's your duty. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. So all who know and they what? Willfully sin. And you see you have a just man fall seven times. And you continue and maliciously sinning. You see that? There's a difference with willful sin or accidental sin. You see what? And those who, and as many as have sinned in the law, knowing who they are, knowing the law, shall be judged by the law. You see that that same law will be <laughs> your accuser in the day. But I say, you understood this thing and you keep doing that thing over and over. You see that? Willful sin is a difference. I'm going to show you why. It's, for not the hearers of the law are just before God, but not the hearers of the law, but the doers shall be justified. You see that? When you hear it, repent, keep it moving. Now, repent, keep it moving. That's what he's saying. The doers of the law. Go back to Proverbs 24 and 17. Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thy heart be glad when he stumbleth. He's not talking about when that when it, they, it, that enemy is talking about. You see that just man, and that just man who know the law, he's doing the law. You see that because the only the doers of the law just. So that just man is talking about the ones who's doing that law, but he, he inadvertently slept. That's what he's talking about. He slept. For a just man falleth seven times, and what? For not the heroes of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be just. It's the law keeper that slept inadvertently. He, he, what? He, he rise up again. He go repent. He going to repent. When he realize crap, or somebody point out your fault, you're wrong. He, he go repent and come back. Rejoice not when the enemy falls. He said, don't rejoice. Don't rejoice over it. And let not their heart be glad when he stumbleth. Because he's going to what? He's a, a law keeper, but he's stumbling. He don't be making mistake. Everyone has mistake. He's not talking about a willful sinner. He's not talking about a repeat offender that's doing the same thing over and over and over willfully and he knows he's not supposed to be doing it. We're going to search the scriptures and see. Am I making this up? Or is God's word? Go to Hebrews 9, verse 6 and 7. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. Hebrews 9 and 6. Now when these things were thus ordained, the priest went always into the first tabernacle accomplishing the service of God. But into the second when the high priest alone, once every year, not without blood. So the, sec the high priest went into the, the inner court, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. You see that? So the other priest go into the outer tabernacle, and the high priest went in the inner. And he offered what? For himself, a bl as blood sacrifice, as back in the day of Moses, for the errors of the people or the sins of the people. You see that? The, the people that, that fall, that fall into sin. So he offer, and he make a, like a, a day of atonement. Let's go to Exodus 30 and verse 10. Exodus chapter 30, verse 10. Exodus 30 and 10. And Aaron shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once in a year, with the blood of the sin offering of atonement. Once in a year shall he make atonement upon it throughout your generation. You see that? It is most holy unto the Lord. So it's atonement for your sin. So you do it once a year. Once a year. As we just passed the day of atonement, the same thing you're talking about, you do it once a year. Isaiah 42 verse 21. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 21. Isaiah 42 and 21. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. You see that? So Yahushua, the Most High God, the Most High God is what? He says, well pleased for his laws. He's about his laws, commandments, and he will make him magnify the law, make it big, and make it honorable. Make it, declare this law. This law in done away with. This law in fulfill. This is what it means. I will magnify it and make it clean. You see that? I've just man for the same time. So I'm going to magnify it and make it clean. Show you what I'm talking about. You see that? Don't think you'll sit down and willfully sin, willfully sin and get my kingdom. No. Go to Matthew 5, 17 to 19. Matthew chapter 5, 17 to 19. I've just man for the same time and rise up again. And he just willfully sinning, willfully sinning. Matthew 5, 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Or the prophets. Yahushua, or Jesus the Messiah, Yahushua, Mashiach, say what? Don't even get in a thought. Don't even think. I come to destroy God's laws because what I come to magnify it as we just read in Isaiah 42 21. I come to make it big and bold and plain and honorable. You see what? I ain't come to destroy nothing. All the prophets, nothing the prophets right neither. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. To fulfill what? Acts 3 and 18. What they spoke about me. I'm going, they're going to nail me to a cross. They're going to pierce my hands and feet. You see that? They're going to part my garments. That's, that's what they came to fill. To fulfill. 
a comrade in an arsenal call, Zechariah 9, Zechariah 9 and 9. That's what I came to fulfill. That was Yeshua said. Till heaven, for very day I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle, a period or comma, shall in no wise pass from the law. You see that? Till all be fulfilled. Not a dot or a, or a period or comma coming out of the law. Till I come and destroy this earth. You see that? You see nothing coming out. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Psalm 37 verse 1. Psalm 37 and 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. So David saying what? Don't stress out because of what evildoers. Repeat offenders. You see that? He, he, he's not talking about a just man at fall. He said evildoers. Repeat of willful sinners. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Willful sinners who refusing to keep them laws. You see that? Are pretending and pretending and pretending and willfully sinning on the down low. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. You see that? Because judgment. He's talking about judgment. When Mosai come, if you don't repent under the grace, the, the time you have to repent and come back to them laws, they will be cut down. As we say, they're going to be cast away. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and very, verily thou shalt be fed. You see that? Go back to... Jump to verse, sorry. Jump to verse 9. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. You see that? They, they will, if you're a willful sinner, he said you will be cut off. It does not, then that maybe might know. You know he said it's not, that's, talk, that's not the just man he's talking about the four seven times. He's talking about the willful sinner. For yet, verse 10, for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth. This is what Christ is talking about Matthew 5 and 5. You see that the meek will inherit the earth. The one who humble himself to do the law, the just, the doing the law. And he fall a certain time. He stumble. That's what we're talking about. Erroneous sin. He go repent and he go rise and he keep it moving. That's what we're talking about. And because he was meek. He's not a willful sinner. Doing the same thing over and over and over and saying, A just man falls seven times and rise again. A just man falls seven times and he willfully sinning. Breaking God's law. Not talking about that. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotted against the just and gnash it upon him with his teeth. The ones who's keeping them laws. So the wicked is the repeat offender, the willful sinner. The just is the one who's keeping, striving, keeping, but he accidentally sinned. He accidentally stumbled. That's what we're talking about. And he repent and keep it moving. The Lord shall laugh at him for he see that his day is coming. So that willful sinner, he call him wicked. You are willfully sinning. And saying the just false him. No, he's not talking about you. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. That just man, their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bow shall be broken. He said that plot, you plotting to take out the just man who keep keeping them law sincerely, you will fall under the same snares and the same trap and the same plots you have for him. A little that a righteous man had is a little that a righteous man had better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. That's what he's saying. It's just a matter of time. You are going down. Verse 21. The wicked borrowed and paid not again, but the righteous showed mercy and gave it. You see that? The wicked man is what? We're going to borrow, borrow something for you. Borrow money from you and refuse to pay it back. Is, God say you're wicked. You are not the just that falls at the same time. You are the wicked. That's what he's talking about. You're the willful sinner. That's extortion that we're talking about. <laughs> you're wicked or that's theft. The wicked borrowed or asked a favor, do this to me, do this to me, and I'm going to pay back. No, I never pay back. That's what that God said. You're wicked, you're willful sinner, you're evil. The wicked borrowed and paid not again, but the righteous showed mercy and gave it. You see that? That's what he That just man going to say, You need the, uh, uh, needed to do this favor for me. The righteous go say, Sure. You see that? But that wicked go say, I ain't paying you back. You see that? Or I ain't giving you back. No. That's what we're talking about. Wicked. That's not talking about a just man for seven times. No. That's a, a willful sinner. That's what he's saying. Um, go to read uh, Psalm 69, Psalm chapter 69, verse 4, Psalm 69 and 4. Who is that he talking about? They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. David said what? They, they hate him without a cause. And they do what? They try to what? Destroy him. They are his enemies, what? Wrongfully. Falsely accusing him. That's what he's saying. Um, we say, I am become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. He says his own brethren, his own bloodline. You see that? An alien to them. They ought to put him to death. For what he don't know him and what I do them, I don't know. Verse 21. They gave me also gold for my meat and in the, like my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. That's who? Yahushua. Yahushua. You see that? You need to understand what you're reading. Go to John 15, 25. 
they gave him what? The gall for my meat and in my tears they gave me vinegar to gin, drink. Vinegar to drink. John 15 and verse 25. John 15 and 25. But this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. You see that we just read it? They, they would say what? They hated me without a cause. I didn't give him nothing. They hate me without a cause. Um, that's Psalm 69. And verse 4, they hate me without a cause, I didn't do them nothing. You see that? And they come and they crucify Yahushua. You see what? So if you come, you're a child of God, or elect of God, or chosen of God, they're going to crucify yourself the same way. They're going to what? They're going to what? Borrow from you and never pay back. <laughs> the same thing. That's what we're talking about. They're going, to, they're going to persecute you just as they persecuted Yahushua. Is that a just man? He's, that's the wicked he's talking about. Doesn't that the just man not fall seven times? Read John 19 and verse 28. John 19, verse 28, 29. He said, The persecuted without a cause. John 19, 28. After this, Jesus, knowing, or Yahushua, that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, Now there was a set vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon hyssop, and put it to, my, to his mouth. You see, that's, he's just talking about things that they did. This is Psalm um, 69. They're going to what? They're going to persecute him, was crucified, and they gave vinegar to drink. That's what he's talking about. Luke chapter 23 and verse 34. Luke 23 and 34. Luke 23 verse 34. Luke 23 and 34. Then said Jesus, or Yahushua, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. You see that? And they parted his raiment and cast lots. He said what? Forgive them. Do they, they, they persecute you because the wicked going to persecute you? The just. He said what? Forgive them. That's what he said. Forgive them still. Father, forgive them for they know that they're in they ignorance. You see that? They're ignorant. They are not learned. They are not learned. They are not the just. They are not the elect. They are not the chosen. Forgive them. Pardon them. That's what he's saying. Go to Acts chapter 7, verse 59. Acts 7 and 59. Yahushua, the son of the Most High, say, Forgive them for they know what they've done. Let's see what Stephan said in Acts 7, 50, 59. And they stoned Stephen because he was rebuking them and telling them, Stop breaking God's laws. You resisting the laws, the Holy Ghost. Stop breaking God's laws. They do what? Stone him to death. Just as they sacrifice Christ on the cross. They crucify him. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God. Stephen said, He said, Call on the Father and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Stephen said, Receive my spirit. And take me back home. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their child. You see that? He said the same thing that Yahushua said. Forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. They have ignorance. They are the wicked of the earth. That's what he said. The wicked persecute the just. You see that the ones who are going to stand up for the laws of God stiffly, the wicked will persecute them. So they're not the just. A just man for a certain time. So then they willfully sinning, violating, trying to put the sons of God to death. Put to, trying to put the men of God to death. Trying to put the prophets of God to death. You see that extorting the prophets of God, but he's saying what? Just man for a certain time. You are will, you're a willful sinner, you're of the wicked. That's what the Bible says. That's, I didn't say it. Did I say it? The Bible says that. He said what? Lay not this sin to the child, so you ask the Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. They don't understand. They, this is above their pay grade. Go to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 43 to 48. Matthew 5, I read 43 to 48. Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. Matthew 5 and 43. Ye have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. This year who sure would. But I say unto you, love your enemies. You say what? Love your enemies. Father, forgive them for they do not what they've done. You see that? Stephen say what? Lay not this charge to their, their hand. You see what? Don't rail for rail. That's what he's telling me. And don't malice, don't malice for malice or hate for hate. Don't, it's above them. Bless them that curse you and do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despise to use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he make it his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And send that rain on the just and on the unjust. You see that? The ones who can keep the law and the ones who can break the law. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the publicans so? You see what? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is heaven is perfect. So he's always, there's always stipulations to overcome. That final step is what? To get perfection. You see what? Just, Father, forgive them for they know not what they've done. Stephen, see what? Lay not this charge, this sin to the charge. You see that? They, they're, in, they're in ignorance. They're not the just. They're not the elect. They don't know better. That's what he's saying in other words. So you have to rise above. Rise above, take the high road, that's what he's telling you. Go to Leviticus 19, 17. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Don't hate your brother in your heart or have malice. Leviticus 19, and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart, in your mind. Don't hate your brother in your mind. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You see that? You're supposed to what? Rebuke him or correct him and not suffer what? Sin upon him. And don't have 
hatred or malice towards them. That's what he's saying. Love your enemies. That's what he's talking about. Don't have malice. It don't make, it make sense having malice and holding him and grudging him. Just see what it say, to say, keep it moving. Rebuke him behind. If he do wrong, rebuke him. Let's say if he correct. If he, 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 he refuse to repent, rebuke him. That's what he's talking about. Call him out, in other words. 1 John 3 and verse 15. 1 John 3 and 15. 1 John 3 and verse 15 read, Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. See, so if you have grudge, don't hate, I hate, her. I'll get back at you, I'll get back at you, I hate you, malice. You see what, it, you, so hate, you hate your brother in your, in your mind is a murderer, and you know that no murderer had eternal life abiding in him. You're not going to get the kingdom if you have that malice and that grudge towards your brother. You see what, forgive him, keep it moving. You see what, it is what it is, call him out, call him out, but keep it, keep it moving. Go to Exodus 23 and 2. Sorry, jump to verse 7. Read verse 7 and verse 7. Verse 7. First John 3 and 7. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. This is the most is righteous. You see that if you righteous, this is what? If you keep the commandments and the laws, according to Deuteronomy 6.25, that's righteousness, keeping the commandments and the laws. Blameless. He that committed sin is of the devil. You see that wicked who what? Willfully sinning. Who what? Don't want to keep them laws. You see that I've done saying the just man for seven times and willfully doing the same thing over and over. You see that he's a, a willful sinner. He say you have the devil. You're not talking about the just that keeping the law and slip up. No, the Bible is very clear. He that committed sin or willfully sinning or repetitively doing the same thing is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning because he cannot stop. You see that. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Verse nine. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. Whoso is just, you see that? He's going to stay away from sin. He's not going to willfully sin. He might slip because he ignorantly done it. You see that? He did not commit himself to that sin. But he slipped and he's going to fall and he's going to rise seven times. That's what Christ is saying. Forgive him seventy times seven. He's going to rise. For his seed remaineth in him and he cannot sin because he's born of God. You see that? The seed of God, the Most High God is in him. He's an elect or chosen. The Spirit of the Most High God and Christ is in him. That's the seed you're talking about. He is was with him from the beginning. He is going to repent and keep it moving. He's not going to willfully sin. And he cannot sin because, because he's going to feel guilty. That's what we're talking about. In this, the children of God are manifest. You're going to know the children of God, or the elect of God, or the chosen of God, because many are called. But few are chosen, and the children of the devil. You see that the many are called, many of them are children of the devil. That's what Christ is saying in the message. Call many of them, but few of my elect, and few is my chosen. I'm going to handpick or select few, or true. That's what we say saying, that set apart few. Whosoever does not righteousness is not of God. If you willfully violate him, God laws, and you willfully be a fornicator, willfully be a thief, willfully be a murderer, willfully be a drug dealer, you see that? Willfully be a liar and a deceiver, an extortioner, or whatever, you see that? If God say what? Whosoever does not righteousness, righteousness is not of God. You're not keeping them laws, you are not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. You see that? If you don't love your brother, to do something like that to your brother, you don't love him. You hate him in your heart. You see that? You're malice. You hate him in your heart. You're not of God. That's what he's saying. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that you should love one another. You see that? His love is what? Applying the application of the law one to another. Love your neighbor as yourself. What you want done to you, do you to him. You see that? That's what he's talking about. Go to Exodus 23 and verse 2. Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You see that? You shall not follow who? The multitude to do evil. You see that? This brother do it and get rid of it. This sister do it and get rid of it. You see, she only get a small judgment. She only get a... And you do the same. That's willful sin and you're not just. You see that? You're not just. The just man falls. He slip. That's what you mean. When you walk in, do you just throw yourself down and say I fall? No. You walk in and you didn't see the banana skin and you slip on it. That's what a just man what? Fall it. That's a fall. You slip. That's what we're talking. It's accidental sin. But that man walking and just say, boom, I'm throw myself down. He, no, you, you, you're crazy. You, you mean you're doing it over and that's a willful sinner. That's a willful fall now. You see, I'm an actor. Boom. Act, act for the camera. You see camera watching me. Click. You say, how do I look? How do I look? That's what he's talking about. That's not talking about that just man that fall. 6 and 13. Sorry, sorry. Sirach 6 and 13. Separate thyself from thine enemies and take heed of thy friends. You see that Sirach 6 and 13 say what? Separate yourself from your enemies. Even though you have to forgive them. But do what? Separate yourself from them. Get away from them. You see that? And take heed of thy friends. Stay close to the friends. Who keeping them laws? Stay with them. Who don't want to keep them laws? Separate from them. Run from them. Matthew 7 and 15. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Matthew 7 and 15 reads, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raven in wolves. Yahushua, Jesus the Messiah said, what? Beware of false prophets, they are what? 
Raven and wolves. Raven and wolves. Matthew 10 and 16. Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpent and harmless as doves. You see what? But beware of men. For they will deliver you up to constants and they will scourge you in the synagogues. You see, okay. Yahushua said the just. I sent you in the midst of wolves. You see that? Of the wicked, in the middle of the wicked. You see that? Be but wise as a serpent. Because they will deliver you. We will try to take you out. Just so they take me out. That we saying. You got to arm yourself with what? The same mind to suffer as I suffer. That we tell you. Arm your mind with that, yourself with that same mind. They will take you out. Matthew 16 and 6. Matthew 16 and 6. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and, and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Who? The rulers. The rulers of the, of the nation. You see what? Be mindful of them because I send you a sheep in the midst of wolves. You see all these vanguards. I send you a sheep in the midst of wolves. You tell that all who ever rule in that nation. Beware of them. The leaven of them. Leaven is what? Lies and deceit. Crafty, cunning craftiness. Jump to verse 11. How is it that you do not understand that I speak it not to you concerning bread? I ain't talking about leaven bread, eating leaven bread on leaven bread. You see what? That you should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. What is that leaven? Then on the third day, the disciples, that he bade them not beware of the leaven of the bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. They're going to be teaching crafty, cunning deceits and lies, the deception. That's what Christ said. Be mindful. When you go in the midst of these vanguards, these rulers of the nation, be mindful. They crafty yourself. Second Corinthians 6 17. What does he say? The just man falls seven times. But, and the brother repeatedly and the sister repeatedly offending and doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and that they use in that scripture. The just man falls seven times and rise again. The just man falls seven times. No, that's a willful sinner. <laughs> so that's, he said, What come out from among them? Second Corinthians 6 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Stipulation. Stop hanging out with willful sinners. That we saying. Repeat offenders. is not that, that the just man that fall. The just man is the man who's striving to keep the law and he trip and he tripping and tripping. Because I don't understand this, I know that I can get full boob and he slip. He repent and keep it moving. That willful sinner, you see that? That we call, we call them wicked. Willful sinner come out from among them and be separate. You have to separate from them. Get away from them. Luke 19, 27. Luke chapter 19 and verse 27. Why is he telling you get away from them? Luke 19, 27. And those mine enemies, this Christ said, but those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them. Bring here and slay them before me. That's what he said the angels. They don't want to do my law. They see that? But they say there's a just man of all. They repeat offenders, willful sinners. He said, bring them and slay them before me. Put them to death before me. You see that? Then we say what? The doctrines of devils. The teaching is false thing. The just man for the same time. I'm allowing willful sin in the synagogues. Willful sin in the churches. Willful sin in the institutions. You see that? Or willful sin in the sanctuaries. That's not what the scripture is talking about. As you clearly showed. Shalom.